welcome back to Colette's Marine Tank. I am so sorry it has been so long since I've done one of these videos. Um, I've just been kind of letting my tank settle for a good while, um, letting everything grow out and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to get next. Um, but anyway, I've been onto Reef Exotics website and um, they are based around Kent area, um, Essex way I think. Um, anyway, I don't really know that area very well, but they are online. So they have dry goods online, um, they have aquariums that you can purchase, um, they have pretty much everything that you can think of. Um, but they also sell coral online, which is great um, for obviously when you want a delivery. So I have purchased three items um, from their online shop. And I wanted to show you what those items were, so I thought I'd do a little unboxing video. All I've done so far is just open around, I've not actually opened within the box, um, but cut all the way around, I've taken my sticker off for um, my address. Um, and here we go. Also, just as an FYI, I have pop the drip acclimator in the tank already and um, that's already drip acclimating into this bowl here i've added some sea chem reef dip which is my preferred dip i tend to find the most um, pests come off with this dip um, i have used coral rx for a good while not noticed half as many things coming off when i've done um, that i do know that people say be careful of an iodine dip um, I am careful with it and it's always good to dip a few times with a few different dips because um, one dip will get some things off that the other dip might not um, but right now I go in with reef dip seed trim and then I'm going to rinse off my frags afterwards with um, some of my tank water and then we're already drip acclimating into there so we have a heat pack still really warm so that's a good sign as always it is filled this with um, bubble wrap and we have the frags within so I'm gonna show you this we'll get the first one out anyway so the first one that we've got is an alveopora um, so some people call these the flower pot corals um, I really liked this one it is um, green in color um, it's nothing that stands out too much, um, but I really wanted more flow and I really like like my torch corals, the ones that do flow about a little bit more. So I'm going to try and find, I think I know exactly where I'm going to put this one anyway. Um, I just wanted to find some more flow for one of my rocks on the left, on the right hand side, sorry. Um, but yeah, here we go. There you are. So I'm going to get this out of its little tub without trying to drop too much water all over the place and then we're just going to go straight in I'm going to add the water from the frag and then I'm going to pop the frag inside the dip that we've got going and um, the next thing that we have I should probably get out first actually is in a bag let me just pop this back down we have a bright red Lobo. Now, I had a bright red Lobo when I, f was it when I first set up this tank, um, when I was living back at my old place, and it suddenly started um, to strip, and it was devastating because it was so pretty. Um, but anyway, I needed more red. I said this on the last video, I needed more reds and oranges um, adding to the tank, and this was online, and. God, it just looked stunning. So we're gonna get this one added as well. Um, so I'll just pop open this bag. It's got quite a bit of water in, which is really handy when you're drip acclimating. Um, where's them scissors? I'm gonna get this video done, guys, but when um, I upload it, if you've got anything that you necessarily want me to do a video on, please pop it in the comments section and I can work on that. Um, I know I've got quite a few things that people want to see from me. 
Uh, one of them is my sump, which I'm still working on because I need the doser to be working before I can do that. Um, so when I do get that sorted, I will do a video on it, on the sum. And then last but not least, guys, we have, I think if I remember rightly, this was a red um, goniopora. So there we go. Obviously, it's all in at the moment because it's just been through quite a stressful process of shipping. Um, but when it's over that, Um, I'm sure, oh God, I can see the little pinks from the Garnet popping under the blue lights already. Can't wait to see that out. Um, I'm just going to place this one in. And then we're going to add more of the water. Right, there we go. That's all three of our, uh, the frags, sorry, that I've got inside the water. I'm going to let them drip acclimate for 30 to 45 minutes and then i'll get them dipped in um, my tank water before they go into the tank and i'll try and get a video of them when they're back inside the tank um, but thanks very much for staying with me guys take care okay guys so i am about to remove um some of these corals pop them inside the last dip of just my water and clean off the coral dip and we've done that with the Lobo, so I'm going to get that added into the tank now. The Lobo going in. So I need to make a decision on exactly where I would like this Lobo. I do have a really nice green and orange Lobo here. So I think I'm just going to pop it directly next to this one. And I need to figure out if Lobos attack other Lobos actually before, before I leave it there. Um, but once I've figured that out, I can then uh, check if that's okay. Um, so the Alveopora is what I'm going to go in next with. Rinse off any dip that might be on that. Don't want to get iodine added into um, the tank. And then I'm just going to add the frag onto the rock for now. And then I'm going to let it settle in the tank before I take it off of its frag plate and then glue it onto the rock. I'm going to do the same again with the Gunny Corner. One thing I just want to say about these Reef Exotics um, frags that I've ordered is that they are super, super clean. Um, nothing is come off apart from stomatella snails which I absolutely love so that was a good little extra to get if anything. Um, right that is them in the tank I'm gonna let them settle and then I'll take a picture for you guys or a video um, to attach onto the end of this thanks okay guys so all settled in now a little bit more so we've got the red logo here go with the other lobos next to it and then we have the alveopora and the goniopora and um, both sat there for now to settle in once they are settled i'll then take them off of these plates and pop them glue them down um i'm doing a little bit more jigging with my zoas so i've glued some of my zoas on the rock so they grow across the rock and um, same over there and then I've just tidied up a little bit around here. Now I'm going to order some Bergy and Nudie Branks um, to hopefully destroy all this Aptasia because it is growing like wildfire. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I get on with that. Um, but that's going to be ordered this week. Here's a little bit of a closer view on the Cunipora and the Alveopora there. Um, and there is the jack-o'-lantern that I got the other week from Finest Aquatics. Um, but yeah, that's a little update of the tank for the end of the video. I just want to say thank you very much everyone for watching the video um, and 
yeah if there's anything that you want to see in the future give me a comment at the bottom and let me know what you'd like to see thanks guys